What's up, sir? I'm good. How you doing? Ready to sail. You ready to sail? Yeah. <laughs> where did it where did it come from? Where the the idea of doing a cruise? Where did it come from? From my light skinned commander, Sinbad. <laughs> really? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. He came up with the idea or No. Remember when Sinbad was doing the Sinbad Soul Music Festival mm -hmm. in the Caribbean? Yes. He would go from he would do different islands, Jamaica, St. Thomas, Aruba, and um it would be I on HBO. Him and his brother Mark. Yeah. yeah. And it'd be on HBO. Well, he wasn't making any money, mm -hmm. but he was drawing all of these. He was drawing all these crowds. These black people paying two and three thousand dollars for a Caribbean vacation, you know, a week in the, somewhere in the Caribbean. And he was drawing like at the end. I think when he did Aruba, I think it was his last one. He had like ten thousand people. Mm. They were paying like two and three thousand dollars. You know, a per person. person. Yes. So we're in Aruba. I'm looking out in the water. I see a cruise ship. And I said, and the light went on. I said, huh, if Sinbad is not going to do this anymore, and he's got 10,000 people paying two or $3,000 to get on, the, to, to go to the island, why don't I take a cruise ship and get 3,000 people to pay like $6,000 mm. for a whole week. And uh, that, was the, that, was the, that was the light bulb moment. And the first cruise, when was it? Uh, 23, 24 years ago, because we skipped, uh, we skipped the COVID year, the COVID 2020. Year. So no one this, counts the COVID year. This is our, well, this is our 23rd year. And what was it like that that first time? Nightmare. First three days. <laughs> Why was it a nightmare? Man. Okay, first of all, let's go back in time. It hasn't been well for black folks on ships. <laughs> in the you beginning. went really back in time. All the way back. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's the first thing. I get All right, that. black folks were not cruising. Yeah. Okay. That's number one. So we had to, we had to convince, you know, people that yeah, a cruise ship is a great idea. Let's have a party and raise some money for the for the foundation and send some kids to school. It never been done because no. black folks don't cruise. So we said, all right. We found out that cruise ships don't charter a whole ship, especially, especially for black folks. Mm -hmm. I said, we don't cruise not because we came in, we came over here on sh on slave ships. We don't cruise because nobody invited us. So after I convinced folks that that we don't we don't cruise because no one invited us, and here's an opportunity for a good cause, then we we're off and running. Next, the next problem was finding a ship because cruise ships aren't just sitting in the dock empty you know, with nothing to do. They they stay booked. So you have to book. If you're going to get a ship, um, it's going to be tough to do. So we found one ship. It was as old as the Titanic. <laughs> In fact, it kind of looked like the Titanic. And they said, well, we got this one ship. I looked over there and I said, that ship? He said, yeah. I said, okay, how much? Now the next problem was booking it. Mm -hmm. We're in the radio business. We're in the media business. We are not in the, 
we are not in the cruise booking business. So we, we, we found uh, people that book cruise ships. Cruise ships are us or something. <laughs> and all they do is book cruises. They said, we got a black cruise, would you, would you book it for us? And they said, well, we never dealt with uh, a black audience before, but sure, we'll do it. Big problem. They called as soon as we went on online, you know, booking. They said, we never booked anybody like this. People are asking us to put a credit card, <laughs> three and four credit oh, cards payments, yeah. on payments. And we don't know how to do that. Our system doesn't know how to do that. I said, oh, you know what? You got to figure it out. Then we get on the ship. Black folks don't cruise. They thinking for this amount of money, their cabins should look like, you know, voluptuous. And it's, yeah. you know, and you know what the cabins are. Mm -hmm. You know they're very small, very tight. And we big people. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're on the Tom Jordan cruise, you don't stay in the cabin anyway. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But then there's the hallway. It's narrow, mm -hmm. and we big people, so and we pack a lot. Yeah, so people got on, got on the first day, and they said, "This is not what I expected." Oh, uh, I want, I want better accommodations. I said, "Well, we're sold out." I mean, people, <laughs> yeah, they had the torches and everything. They can throw me off. <laughs> So we sail, because we got to sail, yeah. complaints or not. And the complaint line is long. I said, look, it is what it is, and we parted. I said, Cameo is playing right now. Word up. Dun, dun, dun. We jamming. We rolling. I said, you can, you can either... Party? Oh, I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> so when the party started, they were rocking, they were drinking, they were having a good time. They forgot <laughs> all about this old this old tugboat <laughs> they were on with these small ass cabins, and we were rolling, and we've been rolling ever since. Absolutely. Um, did you ever imagine, I mean, honestly, what, 24 years ago, that it would become the phenomenon that it's become? Yes. Because it is, for some people, like a religious experience. It's, it's, it's a place. It of, is a religious experience. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. It's a safe place for people. It's, um, you know, you could be there it's a and party be unapologetically with a black. Yes. It's a party with a purpose, and the purpose is helping kids stay in school at HBCUs. Mm -hmm. And we've raised uh, more than $71 million for HBCUs since 1998. Mm. The amount of lives that you probably affect, not even probably, the amount of lives that you've affected with that. Last count was 29,000 and some change scholarships and i don't know if anyone has done it but you've probably changed the cruising industry oh yeah yeah because now each cruise brand has a um, party charter department yeah and they never had that before no they have partial charters like you get your group, you know, mm -hmm. your conference, your and 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 they'll set us up, but not full charters. But now, and parties, now all of them have party charter departments, and there's a whole lot of party cruises. There's some rock. There's some rock people got got party cruises, rock stars. Um, Everybody, there's a ton of them now. Transform the industry. We, 
don't tell nobody. <laughs> keep that, keep that quiet. You know, when you when you start transforming stuff, you become a target. <laughs> you know, <I> was, uh, <laughs> no. and also uh -huh. got artists to perform on a ship that I think would never have performed on a ship without it being for you. That's that, that's probably true. I don't think. Oh, I'd that's like definitely that. true. I've spoken to him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. How, how, how is that process? Do you always, because it seems like every year you take it to another level, another plateau. We try to take it uh, to another level, another plateau every year. Um, we're going to try to top Stevie Wonder this year. <laughs> you got Jesus coming? <laughs> <laughs> Topping Stevie Wonder is hard. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, it's really hard. I think I think I think we've come close with what we've got, mm -hmm. and we're still adding on. And well, like Stevie and Wonder, probably, Lauren Hill, Charlie Wilson—that was unbelievable. Yeah. And then the tribute, the the fifty year of hip hop. Like yeah, you had, you, that was you were a, that the was first a, person to that do. That was a surprise. Busta Rhymes came on um, last minute. We booked Busta Rhymes the day before we sailed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that was, and we will have some surprises like that this year, too. Actually, speaking of which, I'm going to play something for you. Mm. Uh, I got a couple of these, but speaking about hip-hop, this guy was on the ship. Let's talk about the Tom Joyner cruise. I mean... <laughs> That's the only only person I'll allow to call me. Not only Tom. does Tom Joyner <laughs> throw a party and from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the morning two six o'clock in the morning for seven days it's a party with a purpose man and we have the time of our lives on those cruises man um i don't know what else to say it's a party with a purpose man those hbcus and historically black colleges that that's that's major for that's major for them that's major for us and then I got a chance to see some of the people that I never, I got a chance to meet some of the people that I never thought I'd ever get a chance to meet in life. And it was just so, it's just so fantastic, man, that cruise, man. It's like one big ass class reunion or, or uh, homecoming. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And everybody together and everybody having fun. Yeah. And we get to see people like Charlie, like Diana Ross, like Stevie Wonder, like, and just, just, it's like a big ass family reunion, man. Like, it's great, man. And thanks, Tom, man, for everything, bro. And thanks for inviting me every year. <laughs> and I'll see you next time, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll be at the bar. Shots on me. And let me, uh, <laughs> let me show you. This is a newcomer that you had on the boat last year. Hold on a second. It's your girl Tisha Campbell, and I just she want to talk about ball. Tom Joyner and the Tom Joyner was this cruise got off the was cruise? my first seven, time three, last yes, year. I spent all seven days, and when I tell you, it was an experience yeah. like I've never had. It's like being at your own family reunion. <laughs> It was so grown folk. It was so good. And all these people are just getting together and we're just getting together and enjoying good music and a good time with one another. I had the best, most amazing time. And I'm sure so grateful to Tom and all the work that he's done, all the work that he's done for HBCUs. And, and, and we just appreciate you and we love you. Bye. <laughs> Tisha, Tisha parted so hard she crawled off the cruise. Oh, I know. <laughs> she had her mama with her I and said, her crew. I, I felt so good. My work is done. I, I saw her crawling off the cruise and my mama and everything. I, I teared up. <laughs> what a good cruise. <laughs> it, it, it was. You know, and that's, a, and that's one thing people always. People always say, I hear you need to pace yourself when you get on the cruise. And I say, I say to everyone, don't pace yourself. It's seven days. You're going to fall. 
All you, I'm going to get you. Just get up, dust yourself up, and keep going. It's just a matter of time. Why take the punishment to the end? Fall. Take a knee. <laughs> take a standing eight. You don't have to, you don't have to party the whole seven days. Just because you see me partying, it's a, I'm professional. Yeah, you built different. I'm in training right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. Other folks lose weight for the cruise. I train. <laughs> <laughs> you hear basketball players talk about being basketball shape? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is time doing a cruise shape right here. <laughs> you got to be in shape. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to get you. Don't, don't pace yourself. Go hard from, from the time we from the time we leave to the time we get back, and you're going to get knocked out. And in the end, you're going to be knocked out. It's a good knockout. Oh, it's a good knockout. It's a good knockout. And you still got it. You've done this before. It's just been a long time. Don't worry about, worry about the recovery when you get back. In fact, don't go to work when you get back. Take that day off. Take one day off when you get back to recover because your recovery time is off. You, you used to be able to do this if you had the opportunity. <laughs> now you got the opportunity, you can't, you, know, you can't recover, but you can do it. I'm gonna make sure of it. See me in my office, <laughs> shots on me. <laughs> now some people, you talk about the first cruise, there are people that have been on every one. They don't miss it. A lot of people. A lot of people uh, in the 23 years, there are a lot of people that have been on all 23. Mm -hmm. Some have been on 22, 20, 19, 18. Um, they have put a lot of people through school. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people have gone to school because of these people that come every year. Mm. The crews ain't cheap, but then neither is school. Uh, so, thank you so much for the loyalty. And I'm going to show you, I got two more I want to show you. Uh, here you go. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Joyner? Uh, it's Dr. Godfrey here. Uh, I just wanted to come uh. and say thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of the cruise last year. When I asked, uh, what did you get from it, Godfrey? I always give people the three Fs, and the number one is family. As soon as I stepped on a boat, it became an instant family. Smiles, hugs, conversations, sit-downs, right nows, as if we had known each other forever and I just got on the boat. The second F that I picked up on the boat was feelings. I came to speak about emotional health and we had a seminar that went just, it was electric. Um, we released a lot of old things and picked up new things, but the point is we were able to do that in a safe respectful environment where we can both teach and learn at the same time. And the last thing, the last thing about that boat is freedom. Mm -hmm. I always say be yourself because everyone else is already taken. And that boat proved that in so many different ways. You are allowed to be authentically you. And I love that. Partay in your way. Mm -hmm. And nobody judged you. And for that, I just want to say thank you. I can't wait to come back. I love what you're doing for the HBCUs. I, too, went to an HBCU, so it's all helping um, my cause, your cause, our cause. And I just want to say can't wait to see you. AJ, mama, see you soon. And remember, it's okay to feel. It's how you heal. Peace. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I mean, how do you feel when you hear messages like that and you see the reaction of people like Teacher Campbell and and, and face and you know Dr. Godfrey and all the you know the people that go on the ship. Oh, I feel encouraged to keep going. Yeah, people always say, "Is this your last cruise? Is this your last cruise?" And they say, "I hear it's your last cruise. I hear it's your last cruise." But we keep going. And as long as um, as long as people support it, and we're able able to. Uh, raise money to send folks to school, we're going to keep doing it. Absolutely. Yeah.
No, it makes me feel real good. People feel good on the ship, man. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know yeah. if, if, if it's because it was post-COVID or... No, that's but what, it was, it was that's just the way a it special... Was from the, that's the way it was 20-something years ago, mm -hmm. and every year it's the same. It's the same. That, that, good, that good, warm family reunion, freedom, you know... You don't have to, you don't have to worry about losing weight to get on the cruise, okay? Not this cruise. <laughs> Absolutely. I called it. I was trying to explain it to somebody, and I said it was like homecoming for a week. One year, we decided to sail out of California. <laughs> we were going to go south, and something happened that was. Um, epidemic or something. Anyway, we had to go north. Ooh. So we sailed out of, uh, I think, Long Beach, and we had to go north, like all the way to Canada, mm. and come back. And, and this was a last minute decision, uh, like a month before we sailed. But well, people had lost weight to wear their, <laughs> to wear the <their> clothes. <laughs> to go south. <laughs> to go south. <laughs> man, that was messed up because none of them clothes <laughs> were warm enough to go north. Mm. <laughs> and they, <laughs> and they everyone, everyone but me gains weight on the cruise. I lose 10 pounds. Because you're working. You're moving around. It's a lot of moving from, you know how many bars there are <laughs> <laughs> on that ship? And it seems like you hit all of them. <laughs> then, then my office. I have office and, hours. And not even you. It <laughs> seems like the artist hit all of them. Because you walk around. Yes. I know there was, I think, it was almost a Bobby Brown bar. I know There a was kid, a Bobby Brown bar. A, okay. And then Kid, Kid, kid. kid has about four bars. <laughs> but when you're on the ship, it's just like, you know, I, you see these people that, you know, that you look up to that are celebrities, but they're just regular people on a ship having fun. That's right. And, and enjoying it with you. And you created the atmosphere. It's always from the top down. So it's your energy that exudes all of this warmth that, that people flock to the ship for. I'm happy. I'm a happy man. <laughs> Can you give me give me a rundown of the, some of the top performances that you remember from the from the ship? Ooh, that's hard. Some of the top artists. Oh wow! I'd have to say Stevie. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you'd asked me the year of Stevie, I would have told you the year before was I don't know. I think Anita. Mm -hmm. You know, so every year, every year it's something. I it's. It's it's really. I remember impossible. seeing Chuck Brown in a small yeah. room. Yeah. And it was just amazing. Because it was EU last year in the same room was just as amazing. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what Tisha lost her mind. Oh yeah, I was in there. I was in Tisha, there. Tisha actually got caught up and lost her mind. <laughs> <laughs> but that could happen on the cruise. You so and. You you could lose it and gain it. Um, we have we have a rule that after after twelve o'clock, you you are not permitted to take pictures on the cruise so that celebrities and everybody can feel like you know can feel the freedom. Mm -hmm. That's why Tisha didn't mind losing her mind. There's no footage. But I'm here to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been viral, but that's the rule. You can't take pictures after midnight. Now, we party around the clock. And now that is a fact. Yeah. And I, I, I try my best to keep up. 
like my, you said one of the biggest memories of a performance mm -hmm. was uh, for years, uh, Charlie Wilson and the Gap Band came oh. on at three in the morning. I've seen that. And that's a party. And then Charlie was, Charlie was partying right into uh, the sunrise service, because you know we have sunrise service, because we're going to sin a lot. So we have to pray up. Every day. Every day. Every Sun day sunrise service. Every day. And we have celebrity, celebrity passes. Like my, my fondest memory is uh, Shirley Caesar coming in from the Charlie Wilson concert, the sunrise service. We kind of tilted. <laughs> <laughs> Prayed up, went, rolled into breakfast, <laughs> then in the seminars, party with a purpose, you know, or go out there on the pool deck, on the deck and sit in the chase lounge with an umbrella drink, you know, and go to sleep, sleep, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Ralph Tresman bar too. Yeah, yeah, Ralph, Ralph had one dedicated to him. Yeah, he, yeah. And he, I, I, he performed last year, I remember him performing in one of the bars. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing and, like And that. last year, I mean, every time I looked around, Cisco was thong to thong thong thong. Folks would be in line trying to, trying to go into the Stevie Wonder concert and there's, and there's Cisco. <laughs> The thong, the thong, the thong. Uh, folks are just jamming. Because <laughs> it's open seating. We don't have yeah. reserved seating unless you, unless you buy the package. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Cisco was all over the place. <laughs> Let me show you one last video. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Uh, okay. My name is Johanna Wright. Mm. And uh, Tom, I have a few words for you. Now, I can only give you an appetizer uh, because of the time frame. Um, so the entree on another day. <laughs> and first I'd like to say Happy New Year. Um, and I want to say to you, what would happen had Tom Joyner never, ever were here? Hmm. We know that God created you for a special reason, and you clearly understood your soul's signature. Many people live a lifetime and never get that. So when I think of you, I cannot help but see a person of great character, uh, whose moral compass, moral strength, and integrity can be held up as a model to emulate. You know, you care deeply about the well-being of young people, as do I. You know, you care about their dreams and their potential to successfully transition into adulthood, which is critical today, especially looking at what's going on around the country in terms of DEI and how it's being outlawed. And we have to continue to work harder for our young people. You know, Tom, you're one of the most humble, unaffected people that you would ever want to meet, but yet you're larger than life. Mm -hmm. I have learned a few things from you on this cruise. I've learned not to play small because there's way too much hiding in options that seem safe. I've also learned that you can't be willing to accept a no when you need a yes, especially where our young people are concerned. And for me, Tom Jordan, I wanna to say to you, thank you for the gift of you. Mm. How you like uh, that? Speaking of New Year's, this is a bucket list event, and every year people make a New Year's resolution. This year I'm going to make the cruise. This year I'm going to lose weight. This year I'm going to stop smoking. And they never do any of those things. <laughs> make this year your New Year's resolution to finally do the cruise. It's late to book it, but call. Don't, don't book it online. Call and the, um, 
the CSR is the customer service rep, will work, work it out. We're, we're more than half sold, but most of the people that have already booked the cruise, booked the cruise when we got off the cruise last year. Absolutely. Making those payments, making those payments really stretched longer. Mm -hmm. Now you're in the last few months before the cruise. It's tough to make those kind of, to make that payment, but we'll work with you. But it's worth it. It is very much worth it because, I mean, just like our HBCUs work with our, our students to get through school, we're going to work with you to get on this ship mm. the same way. It's life changing. It's life changing. And on it top is. of that, for people, it's tax deductible, which is important. A portion, because I get this all the time. Yes, it is tax deductible, but it's only a portion that's mm -hmm. tax deductible, a big portion. Okay? That's a big plus for a lot of people. Yes, it is. And a motivation factor. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yes. Now, the legacy of Tom Joyner. Am I dead? No! <laughs> I ain't. Not at all. <laughs> Am I what gone? Would you, what would you... What, Am what, I here? What, you are here more than ever. Oh, on your way, On your way to a Miami Heat game. Oh, man. <laughs> it's shipping on some I mean, tequila. Only time, only time I talk about legacy is a car. You don't, you, you don't, you, you don't never talk about your legacy? What, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you, what do you, what do you want your legacy to be, Tom Joyner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no? Come on, Tom. No. I Hardest working man. I was explaining. I was in Vegas for the, the uh, a convention, and I was talking about why I was leaving early to come here. And and this white man was trying to really understand. He he couldn't. He first of all he didn't know who you were. And I was like, oh lord. Mm. And then a brother heard me talking. He was like, you don't know who Tom Jordan is? <laughs> he was the hardest working man ever. <laughs> he used to fly from Dallas <laughs> to Chicago to Dallas to Chicago every day. And then we just went and then we started talking about the cruise. And by the time we were done, I think this guy almost booked the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. But, you know, it was explaining your legacy and, and the different phases of the work that you've been doing for so long. Um, so yeah, your, 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 your legacy, your, your, your mark. Maybe, maybe my five fly babies will be my legacy. Mm. Yeah. They can't call me granddad. They call me fly pop. <laughs> Fly pop. Yeah. That's they, the best one I've heard ever. And they the I'm fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fly. You're super fly. Uh, yes. That's, that's Ron O'Neill. But <laughs> so I guess uh I guess the fly babies mm -hmm. will be my legacy. Mm hmm Griffin, Slicey, Caleb, uh Lolly Bella and Johanna. Mm-hmm. By the way, Caleb grew this. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. He does anime. That's beyond awesome. He's 12. That's beyond awesome. Fly baby Caleb. <laughs> and you know what? A part that I forgot to mention, and I should have started with it, hmm. it's like a it's like a mini clave. And a many, you know, for every sorority or fraternity, there's so many of them on the ship. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little, it's a mini convention for the for the divine, for the divine nine. Yeah. yeah, it is without a doubt. Mm -hmm. How special is that for you, considering mm -hmm. you're part of the best organization in the world? Well, everybody knows the Q's do the best boat rides. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's legacy. <laughs> We've been doing boat rides. We've been doing boat rides a long time. I'm just on another level of a cute boat ride. But we've been doing boat rides for decades. Yes, sir. 
and it's always fun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There are there are cruises that cost less money, mm -hmm. but the value of this cruise on any cruise you're not going to get thirty plus performers. Mm. Okay. On any other cruise. Let's talk about the performers already that have announced so far. So Earth, Wind & Fire. Yes. Whew. We could stop just with that. Do you remember? <laughs> They've been on the cruise so many times, they might be the house band now. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby Brown. Bobby's coming. Yeah. We get the Bobby Brown bar bike, maybe. No, you know he's in. It's a comma Bobby Brown. You know, you know Bobby. He could be the Bobby Brown bartender. Uh, <laughs> you know he can't be around. <laughs> I've tried to drink with Bobby. I ain't even gonna touch that one. You know he's been in the program. Man. I know. No, the bar, we won't put no, him in the bar. Don't, don't put him in the bar. He's still in the program, I think, man. Are you gonna make him a bartender? Really, man? The water. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know the man been in the program. And you want to make him a bartender? <laughs> AJ, don't be cruel. Oh, that's, that's don't, Bobby that's song. Bobby song. <laughs> <laughs> ja Rule and Ashanti. Okay. This is not Ja Rule's island trip. All right? <laughs> this... <laughs> ja Rule's on it, but don't get confused. Don't think, don't think if you book the island, <laughs> that because Ja Rule's on it, on this ship, it won't happen. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Red Man or Method Man? Method Man. Man, I didn't know that Method Man is the new Denzel for ladies. He is. He is the new Denzel. So he might be walking around the ship with his shirt off knowing Method Man. <laughs> I mean, when we announced Method Man, I heard a collective scream all over the country. Oh, <laughs> Method Man, Method. Yeah. I said, I said, oh, I guess so. And then I just started thinking about all the things I've seen Method Man in, and He's women crazy. are going crazy. Yeah. We Method Man has sent a lot of folks to school. These ladies are booking for Method Man. That, very true. I know. Very Thank true. Thank you, Method Man. <laughs> Thank you from all us HBCUs. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tank, that's another one that can walk tank, around with his shirt off tank. on the ship. <laughs> tank and Method Man. You know the thing about Tank? Yes. No, he won't be walking around with his shirt off. He'll be in the gym with his shirt off. Because the thing about Tank and his condition is you have to keep that up all the time. Yeah. He has to live in the gym. He never gets a chance to appreciate being Tank. Because I saw him on stage the other night, and he took the shirt off. I said, dang, he is ripped. And the women are going crazy. And he had to go from the stage back to the gym. <laughs> That's it. What's the point? That's it. That's why I'm staying in this shape. <laughs> <laughs> Tank, Tank never has a chance to enjoy being Tank. <laughs> he has to work at it. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, Tank's on there, but don't think you're going to hook up unless you're in the gym. <laughs> Tank will be there. Ralph Tresvent. Ralphie boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and bring you to church with Kirk Franklin. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a bit. He put all these people put on amazing shows, yeah. great performers, like super performers. Yeah, and you know about performers, so I know you're very, very um, specific in curating the artist. Live music is what I is what I love, mm -hmm. and I backline expenses through the roof. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, because we're not talking about any any small. No. No, that's getting back to the value of the ship. You get all these live performances. You don't get that anywhere. Those performances alone, that's over almost like a $10,000 value right there with just those concerts. Yes. 
Earth, Wind, and Fire alone. Yes. And then uh, you have the seminars. You got to remember that because, you, you know, you're partying with the purpose, but you also could and you prepare can take, for and, your and you daily can take, life. And you, and you can take your drinks into the, uh, <laughs> in the seminar. <laughs> in fact, in fact, you can have your drinks at the Kirk Franklin performance, too. <laughs> the bar is over. And there's always... <laughs> Activities because you know you have yes. you have you have workout stuff for people. Oh, I know they the hip hop aerobics oh, yeah. and um, the the hula the dancing and the, the line dance classes. So there's always stuff to do if you want to be active. The beach parties. Yes, sir. That's a lot of that's a, and then there's food. You get food. There's a good value. Oh, a lot of food. Food. Lots of food. <laughs> lots of food. We have lunch, we, dinner options. And we have we have, a, we have a we have a midnight buffet, which really starts at two, because you know we that's the kind of, the midnight buffet because we we're partying all night. You need to eat. Yes. And I'm I'm talking full buffet, and then of course that four and, they, and, and I gotta five, say the food is good. The food is very good because it's like they know it's all black people on the ship, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they cook for us. Because there's definitely brothers back there and sisters back there cooking for us, which I love. So it was a lot of value in what you... A lot of value. Right? You, you'll, pay, you'll pay a lot, but you'll get much more. Oh, it is, it is a very good value. And it's a new ship value. this year, which I'm excited about. It's a bigger ship, I heard. So it's going to be pretty spectacular. Yeah. It's come a long way in 23 years, Doc. Yes, it has. And it never fails to excite. <laughs> Shaka Khan. Uh, excuse me, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, inductee, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Uh, Shaka res Khan. Respect. Shaka Khan. Did you, see, did you see her get inducted? I did. Oh, I, my mm. goodness. Ah. Still got it. Oh, she gonna blow the she gonna blow the, the roof off. Oh yeah, She'll shatter some windows. She hit them the notes. Once you get started, oh, just too hard to stop. Shaka Khan, y'all got party with a purpose, and make the time join a cruise. Hundred percent. Thank you, Tom. Cause folks got fun. cause folks got to go to school. That part. <laughs> so represent night. That's the first thing. Yeah. Okay. So represent night is 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 conveniently on the first night because okay, there's a lot of folks on this cruise ship with a lot of luggage, and you probably won't have your luggage in time to change and party. So we have represent night. So whatever you wear on the plane to the boat, representing whatever you want to represent, your city, your team, your school, whatever you want to represent, that's what you wear. Fraternity, sorority. Because you might not, you, fraternity, sorority, because you might not get your bags. Mm -hmm. I mean, most folks don't travel with these many bags, but we black folks. We travel a lot of bags. A lot of bags. A well, there's a lot of costumes. You because gotta, of costumes. You gotta, you know. Yeah, we, we, you know we have, we have parades. Mardi Gras night? Yeah, and we, and we dress up. Carnival night? Yes. Yeah, we have. Prom night 2.0, I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got an all-white night. It was white always night, fun. yeah, that's fun. Keep going. Pajama night? That's the last thing. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Okay, it's listed as pajama night. Oh boy, what's the but name? It's called. It's really called Might as Well Night. It's the last night of the cruise. <laughs> you got to pack all your bags and get your bags in the hallway. Mm -hmm. So you lay out what you're gonna wear home, and you put your pajamas on. And we call it Might as Well Night because somebody been sweating you all week. <laughs> And you say, all right, might as well. <laughs> uh, 70s versus 90s night? Oh, yeah. 
Now, some people are already, some people dress like this all the all time. Week. <laughs> <laughs> Every day in their life. You know, they got, they got, you know, people still got on their, you know, their British knights and, mm -hmm. you know, stuff from the 70s and stuff. And salute, salute the service night. Oh, yeah. Proud. Got some proud military representation. Mm -hmm. And usually there, there are people in the military that are serving in, in overseas and foreign lands. And they get their pass to come sail with us. And they have to take like three, four, five, six cargo connections, cargo plane connections to get to get to Miami to mm -hmm. sail with us. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially military contractors in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of those people on the boat. There's a lot of stuff, man, in one week. A lot of stuff in one week. I forgot how much it is. <laughs> it's a lot. And I and I can never do everything. No, it's I impossible. see you every time. You're everywhere. I, I am don't even everywhere. understand. Like, like honestly. I am everywhere. And you're but, even at the after party, after party, after party. That's true. But I do, I, it is impossible. It is impossible, physically impossible, to make everything. Every event. Yeah. On, 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 you just can't do it. Mm -hmm. But I try. <laughs> you get around. I get around. Yeah. <laughs> It's so much. Absolutely. In closing, message to the people. What would you, what would you want to say to them? Or what's your message to them right now um, about the cruise, about 2024? Tom Joyner Cruise 2024. Give me, give me the, the message to the people or somebody that's on the fence about coming on the cruise. If you're on the fence about coming on the cruise, I'm going to give you a call. Uh, I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to call you personally and, and beg you. And uh, first shot's on me. <laughs> Tell everybody to party with a purpose and come to Time Joyner Cruise 2024. The Fantastic Voyage benefiting the Time Joyner Foundation 2024. Book it now. <laughs> Thank you, Tim.